You've probably seen it everywhere on the shelves. Pretty easy to get and very affordable. It's Noble Oak Double Oak. What did I think about it? <laughs> Stay tuned. So Noble Oak, Double Oak is rampant around where I live in Charlotte, whether I'm looking at stores in North or South Carolina. I saw it on the shelf for a long time and Woodford Reserve was my entry into the Double Oak category. And I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to see if there were others out there that I could really get into. So if anything, because I saw it so much and it was pretty cheap, affordable, I figured <laughs> why not? Noble Oak Double Oak, let's try it, right? If you don't know, Noble Oak plants a tree for every bottle purchased, hence the noble name for the noble deed. As of this video, they have committed to planting 754,564 trees to date via their partnership with One Tree Planted. 468,523 trees are in the ground while an additional 67,500 are committed to planting projects currently in progress. There's more numbers, too many numbers. So <laughs> let's just say they're planting a lot of trees, but some of these trees they have not yet started. According to their website, their humble beginning started in 2017. So this is perhaps a six year old bourbon if they started, right? Aging when they started. So we know that's pretty young for bourbon. If they started aging in 2017, then this year we should start to see some really decent bottles at six years. Of course, that's my opinion. I'm not sure. I looked on the website, couldn't find anything. Sometimes you can get some good surprises under six, but when you go to their website, you'd really think that they are a nature or tree planting company over whiskey, which leads me to how they make this juice. So Noble Oak Double Oak Bourbon is a unique award-winning bourbon finished with sherry oak sourced by the master of wood at Edrington, producers of the world's finest single malts. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing, just looking at it, checking it out. So it takes a little while for, I'm, I'm, the reason that I'm pausing is it takes a little while for some of the legs to actually develop. Uh, <laughs> but I can start to see them now. We got this nice kind of light golden color, which typically to me, if it's uh, light, this light, uh, then that, for me personally, I just like it when it's been aged a little bit more, it's a little bit darker. So yeah, we'll see how this is on the nose. So the one good thing about this, or the one thing about this bottle is I've had it for a little while. You can see I've kind of been drinking it for a bit, but uh, it's what, 2023 right now. I, I probably purchased this in 2022. So you can also see the fact that, you know, uh, I've drank some of it, but not like tons of it. So that can kind of tell you <laughs> something right there. However, I will say that since this has actually opened up, um, it actually smells a lot better than when I first got it. I guess kind of getting down past the neck of the bottle, you really do get a little bit of that vanilla. Uh, I can definitely smell a little bit of cherry, that sweet fruit. Um, Maybe somewhere back there, it's, it's a little bit of cinnamon actually, which uh, is kind of nice. So um, let's go ahead and see about the palette. Cheers. One more time. <laughs> You know, it, it, this is very interesting because since I've had this for a while, when I first tried this, uh, I didn't really like it. As the bottle has actually opened up, I think that 
it's gotten a little bit better. There's a little bit of uh, honey on the front end, uh, a little bit as it goes back to maybe the mid palate, little bit of dried fruits. Um, and I don't chase, taste that cherry anymore, but I am kind of getting a little bit of nuttiness, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, so going into the finish, yeah, it's a little, it's a little nutty. And the one good thing, I think when I first opened it, it had a little bit more of the ethanol kind of taste to it. I'm, I'm not tasting that so much anymore. Um, so I, I feel as though this is actually kind of matured a little bit over time, which is really, really fascinating. Um, obviously when they use sherry oak staves, they're, um, trying to kind of do this aging process that's not necessarily allowing it to sit in the oak barrel, right? They're aging it with these staves. So you can taste that a little bit. Um, a, a, again, a little bit on the immature side there, but I will say I, I have to kind of give it credit. Uh, over time, now that it's been sitting there a little bit, this isn't as bad as I used to think it was was if that makes sense let's give this the good old hebrews ministry review um based upon site i give it 0.25 on the nose i would say now that it's opened up 0.75 it is a pleasant nose flavor the palate uh it's really a 0.25 i i, I would say you know 0.5 but unfortunately it's it still leaves a little to be desired uh, on the finish there is, uh, again, kind of a finish to it. Again, a little bit of the nuttiness, but it's it's not staying there. It doesn't linger for very long. So uh, again, a 0.25. In terms of availability, it is available all over the place here in the Charlotte area. So I give that a one. Um, so in total, that is a 2.5, um, which I feel is, where this should land, right? It's something that you could have, you know, in your collection, go to every once in a while. You want to try uh, a different double oak other than that good old Woodford. Um, however, you know, it's, it's pretty average. <laughs> it's pretty average. So that is it. Noble Oak, Double Oak, Hebrews Ministry Review. Hey, I'm going to leave you with what I always leave you with. Two statements. One, my father-in-law told me, you drink the drink, don't let the drink drink you. I say, why idolize something that can bring death and destruction when you can worship the one who gives life to the full? Whichever statement resonates best with you, please remember, always drink responsibly, and I look forward to seeing you next time.